everybody, Leanne here with another Midweek Boost with Sundays with Heart. And today, we have this lovely Central California Coast Pinot Noir from Josh Sellers. <sighs> Hi. Oh, hey, how's it going, man? Um, I'm in the Namaste. middle of... Namaste. Namaste. It's beautiful, isn't it? I love this hostel. Um, this is my house. It's not a hostel. Wow, that's that's awesome. You have a beautiful home. Thank you for inviting me. Okay. Um, I don't think I invited you, but uh, so why are you here? Because the winds brought me here. The winds brought you here. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I maybe <laughs> interrupting something? Yeah. Because you know the world has 9.5 billion people, and we are not alone. No, we're not alone. Um, but we are doing a video right now. Do you mind being on my video with me? Do I have to sign any rights? Because I don't want to be constrained by any contracts. <laughs> um, no, you don't have to. Uh, so are you a... Would are you a musician? Some could say that. I just, I play music and write poetry and, you know. Is, 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 is that what you do with your life? You just bum around playing music? Pretty much, a little bit of surfing. Oh, you know. what's your biggest wave? Oh. I did a 20-footer once, but I didn't last very long. <laughs> there was a shark. There was a shark, okay. Uh, but... uh, what's with the, the, all the bracelets? What about the yellow one? Oh, well, that's a special memory. Would you like to share that? <laughs> Keep going. Would you like to share that memory with us? Well, it was this time when I rescued... A dolphin being attacked by a baby seal. The baby seal was trying to strangle the dolphin with this line. And so, like, you know, I broke it up. <laughs> Stay in character! Stay in character! <laughs> so, so, like, you know, like, so, like... <laughs> so... So, Would you like to sing us a song? Well, I don't even know what's going on here. Well, like, we're doing a wine tasting. Um, and actually, oddly enough, the wine that we're tasting today is named is from Josh Sellers. Josh is my name. Is it? Yeah. So, Josh, so would what, you like to sing us a song? It's, well, a, it's a California Coast um, wine. It's a Pinot Noir. I love Pinot Noirs. They're like just so, I don't know, let me think. It's like working on the side of the road on an old truck. The mechanic sees a grape in the wind, shimmering in the sun, delicate like the wind is. How about like that? See, there you go. Like, I just need to come up with a chorus. Like, what would the chorus be? Wind blows the wind. The wind blows the wind in the sunshine. Yeah. The sunshine. Yeah. Well, um, thank you, Josh, for <laughs> entertaining us. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy because, you know, the world wants us to be happy. Yes, it and, does. And people want us to be happy. And, you know, Buddha once said that the wind and the sun is all about happiness. And we should just be happy. 
Well, so, thank you, Josh. I really appreciate your time and that you could come and visit us today. Well, you're welcome. So, like, how much is it to stay here tonight? I don't have any money, but, like, I could play some more songs. Um, I think you could just stay here. How about... <laughs> Josh, y'all! That's Josh! Traveler of the world, traveler of the universe! Oh my god! The grape on the vine, shimmering in the sunlight, as the old mechanic fixed his broken truck. She was just a hitchhiker, just a right, hitchhiker. Alright! Shimmering in the sun. Keep it clean, Josh. Keep it clean. This is a family show. <laughs> I have this other song about squirrels. Happy and smile and like. Oh my gosh, okay, all right. So we're back. Um, this is Leanne and Brian here. Midweek booths where we typically do a wine or a beer tasting and crazy. Yeah, and it's, I don't know. I have no idea where that one came from. Um, just to do this Trying to, trying to just, oh, my work is killing me and I'm just, oh. I do want to do a uh, anyway, disclaimer though. We are doing Josh Sellers we, wine. We are doing Josh Sellers wine. There's no way. Let's show them. No way a diss on Josh Sellers. No, wine. no, no, no. We love Josh Sellers it, wine. Quite, in fact, quite the opposite because didn't Josh sing a song about a mechanic no. on the side of the road fixing no. an old truck? It no. wasn't Josh's father. No, it was Joseph's father. It was Joseph. Josh. But okay, no. <laughs> so st so Josh was a mechanic, and then Joseph was inspired the, the story is... by 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 the by the hardworking, yes, uh, 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 very earnest person who his who was his father, yes. Josh. Not to be confused with Josh. I don't know where. I think he's naked on the roof, sunbathing. I don't know what's going on. He but, left me his bracelet though. Oh, well, with, how'd you get in that? <sighs> So, anyways, this is a tribute to Josh, yes. who was a hard worker. Yes. But the story is, is that Joseph, his son, who created this wine, yes. um, he had been in the wine business since he was a, a kid. He started off as a wine steward. And then in 2005, um, he was tinkering with his own wine, you know, trying to come up with something. And he had visions and remembrance of his dad tinkering on cars. And so that's where he came up with the idea of, of naming his wine after his father to pay respect to his father. And I think that's a beautiful story yes. to show how much you love someone that you're, you know, you're naming your wine after something that you like love a, after someone. And that it's you like love. a great name for a Pinot Noir, Josh. Yeah. Because, well, I mean, the everybody... The first wine was Cabernet Sauvignon, but it's Josh Sellers. Oh. And um, so we're going to try it today. I think everyone out there has got new, ha, knows someone or has a friend or had a friend or knows someone named Josh. And they were always kind of this lovable guy. I knew a couple of them. I knew a couple of them in my life. One, Hawaii, I don't know where. I don't know what he's doing anymore. But then there's the other one that's trying to make movies and, and he's a really There's amazing a yeah he's a really amazing um uh, uh, uh director and and stuff but they're just like these nice like genuine down-to-earth guys and i just kind of so yeah so i'm going to read some of the, yeah. the notes so the style is it says our elegantly balanced pinot noir has lush cherry and strawberry flavors hmm. with a hint of lightly toasted oak and then, and then there's a quote that says, Dad was a big guy with a gentle manner, like our Pinot Noir, which has big fruits but an elegant finish. And you can really tell yeah. that how much he loves his father. And that's what I love about this, about this vineyard, about this, this wine, is you could taste the love in the wine. Yeah. And we have had this wine before. This is a favorite of ours. Um, we, it, we... 
I don't know. We, I, it, it doesn't always like it's. There isn't always a bottle at the bottom of the wine fridge, which there really should be. Um, but it, and it's, we kind of like we. It's like it. It's one of those wines we get when we're kind of feeling it at the time for this particular wine, and it's a very, as I remember, it's been a little while. Yeah, it's, little, been a little it's a very while. soft, gentle this wine. Is about um, twelve to fifteen dollars, depending on where you get it. Yes, it's a reasonably priced wine, and it is an everyday wine. Yeah, let me show it to you again. It's the Josh yes. Sellers Pinot Noir, twenty eighteen, and um, I want to talk a little bit more. It's uh, from the premium, cool climate, wine growing region um, in the central coast, including Monterey, Santa Barbara, and other sites along that area. And as a, if you've ever been to the central coast of California, it's actually a beautiful area. It is, yes, yes. Um, and this says that uh, they would pair it with roasted turkey, soft cheeses like brie and compte, or hearty vegetables like sautéed mushrooms. So this is definitely That's like sweet. a yes. a, um, a delicate steak wine, not something heavy like a tenderloin, but, you know, like maybe a, a strip steak or something. No. But this will definitely go with turkey. For those of you that think turkey and 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 red wine, you're mistaken. Roasted turkey and roasted chicken goes excellent with a a medium to a lighter bodied red, like a Pinot Noir or a Beaujolais. If you want to do French wine, you would do a Beaujolais. Oh. Or for an American style wine, a Pinot Noir. Well, well it, it's a lighter you, grape. You know, turkey and chicken is a delicate meat, really, when you but stop it. But it's when not, it's roasted, yeah. it, because it's bringing up the, the, the baked yeah. flavors. And I typically make mine with, like, herbs of Provence, um, you know, to bring out the French flavors of the meat. And oh. then so it would go excellent with this Pinot Noir. Yes. And then also, so we've had this wine before, but we've also had... The cheeses that we're going to try to pair with and today we have beehive cheese from Utah and so we have this is the barely buzz which is a espresso and lavender rubbed cheese and this one is tea hive which is a um, Earl Grey rubbed tea Yes, I kind of challenged her. I got, I, I was at the store and I kind of challenged her. You know, I, I, I got, I saw those. So we're not strangers to B.I. Cheese. We love B.I. Chief, uh, cheeses. I think this is the, I think this is the first time we've had either one of those. We've had the espresso. No, we've, had, we've had this one. We had the lavender. Okay. No, we've had the, the espresso lavender Ex one. Espresso lavender. Okay. We've never had the tea one okay. before. So we, we're not a stranger to them, just this one. Um, so we definitely... And the thing that I like about Beehive Cheeses is a family business. Uh, it was started by this gentleman, um, uh, Tim Welsh, in 2005 with his yes. brother-in-law, um, whose name is Pat Ford. And so the, the, so I like that it's a family-owned place, just like yes. the wine. It's family-owned. But the other <laughs> thing I like about this cheese brand is all of their cheeses are made with a vegetarian-friendly rennet. Mm. So that means if you're a vegetarian and you're worried about the animal-based rennets, this one is vegetarian friendly, and so this is a perfect wine for, or a perfect cheese for you to try um, if you're a vegetarian. Yeah. So if you stay, if you just love steak and sausage and and hamburgers <laughs> and it's this is the cheese for you. Um, oh my gosh! What? And then <laughs> you're supposed to what? And then we're trying these. Um, Dare brand grains first crackers, and these are this is the same people that make um, the cabaret and yeah, the Breton, original Brenton Breton yes. cheese and then, uh, crackers. And they pro and, and, and I didn't I didn't have any notes on yeah. that. and, and oh, oh I and, forgot the bi and, cheese. We, I did. And we'll hold this print. up so you can kind of see it. It yeah, we printed that out because the label is like really really tiny on it, but that's the beehive cheese label. Right. And you'll you'll find that only in well. Depends on where you are, but but it's a deli cheese. You'll most likely find it in the deli section of your local grocery Russian, store. Uh, grocery store, yeah. And I'm like, I'm, I mean, are you ready for the wine? <laughs> it's calling. It is calling you. Okay, the so wind, we're going to the wind. The wind is the wind of the wind is calling. The wind of the wind is calling. The wind of the wind is calling. <laughs> oh my God. And the sun sparkling upon the grapes. I would. So, 
Oh, how's everybody's day going? How's everybody's week? <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely is a midweek Wednesday. We try to do our little yes. happy hour to get you in the mood and prepare for the weekend. So. And yeah, so you can tell it's like a l wow. lighter to medium bodied. Yeah, she could. I can't. I gotta. Well, oh, oh, I'm doing it. Oh, oh. I'm a clutch, y'all. So you know, I'm. So I'm gonna, you can see how it yes. clings to the glass. Oh. It's a beautiful mm. color. Oh yeah. Now I definitely smell the strawberries. And you know, without even tasting it, I can. So you know, it's kind of funny because yeah, that gets a strawberry, but I really, I, I just really do just like get great. I mean, you know, like a, a nice it's a gentle. It's very gentle and soft. It's and a it's a fruity wine. Um, a lot of uh, lighter bodied wines tend to be more fruity. And the thing that I can tell yes. is we've never had bottom. this with the Cornish hens before because we typically drink uh, Beaujolais with Cornish hens. But I can tell that. I forgot how sexy this one is. I can tell that the Cornish hens that I make will go great with um, this wine. And I used to make a honey glazed Cornish hen until I discovered Herbs of Provence on my Cornish head. So I used to do honey and butter and now I do um, Cornish hens, but yes, there's a trick to my Cornish. Heads. So that, so, so, so definitely could taste that oak in there, but it's like, so everything about this wine is mellow. It's very drink, very gentle, very sexy, very soft. And I might use the word thoughtful or contemplative. When you drink this, and it's oh, that's so, very nice, Brian. it's so, it's so, it, and it just so goes with the name, and of course, it so goes with 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 the with the pin with the with the grape, the gentleness of, of the Pinot Noir grape, um, and yeah, so there's there's definitely a little bit of strawberry, um, and I can taste the cherry too. I'm not picking up as much cherry, but I, yeah. More strawberry than cherry. It's like, it's like, it's kind of like when, when strawberries and oak kind of meet. Um, and yeah, it's very, um, yeah, no. So, yes, it's a thoughtful wine. I really like um, that description. Yeah, That's very sweet that yeah. you did that. This is, the, so I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say this is a 10, um, 10 out of 10. Um, and this is definitely a wine that you can drink. It's summer right now. It's hot. It's about 90 degrees. Unfortunately, the breeze slowed down a little bit, but um, uh, yeah, you know, this is definitely a wine that you can drink just as a standalone and, and we'll see in a moment, but you know, with food, but yeah, this serves just, just like, I forgot. We, yeah, we need to have a couple so, of these. Yes. So Brian picked the cheeses before I read the tasting notes and I think he did a really good job because for the, um, for the barely buzzed, um, it says it goes with medium to full body reds, also ports and ales. So this may have gone with the alien amber. Mm. This, um, and then for food is toasted nuts, chocolate, berries, and charcuterie. And then um, for the tea hive, oh, let me describe the barely buzzed. So it has in part notes of butterscotch and caramel. So I'm interested in that. Um, which are prevalent near the rind, but find their way to the center of the cheese. And it has, it's a full body cheese with nutty flavor and smooth texture. And then for the, um, for the tea hive, it's sweet and creamy, Jersey's cow milk, um, and a tea rubbed rind continues through the finish. And it says fruit forward no. reds. So I'm thinking both cheeses are going to go. And then Chardonnay stouts, and then charcuterie stuff like that. So I was just kind of sitting here um, thinking about Sideways, which is if you oh. haven't seen this movie, this is Paul Giamatti the, is yes, just amazing. And and there <laughs> and there's and 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 and, and I, I don't even want to spoil it for you. It's just it's it's a writer, and he wrote this like this ginormous like thousand page manuscript of novel that's being rejected left and right and blah 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 and I won't and I don't want to but there's this scene was where a, oh yeah he was a writer but the friend yes. was an actor the friend was an actor he's a writer going nowhere and the actor is just a small time part actor blah 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 anyways but the, but he's got money and it, this is all about wine and and this is all about and really it's it, it's about Paul Giamatti 
Christ's character dealing with the world. And he deals with the world and views the world through wine. And there is this very, Great very, description. The, the greatest, one of, what I think one of the greatest scenes ever is he, he meets his girl at this, and, 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 and they go out and then they end up at this party and she, at, and, and so the, the character, he's all about Pinot, like Pinot. The role of wine, as much of as a wine saw, he, and he's and he's really a sommelier, but not not officially trained. But he's a, and he's he a, actually does write ups on wine. He's like that good, right? But he he's all about Pinot Noir, and 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 there's a scene where the girl asks him, "What what is his obsession with Pinot Noir?" Pinot, and he talks about. The gent the dead it's it's hot, and it is it's a gentle grape it only grows in certain places and under certain conditions and it's it's not bold like a cab it's not bold like Malbecs and he goes on and, and it's this beautiful description and I think where I'm going with that is that if I was to have to re cite that as an actor and to do that part for some reason i would want the josh wine because when i'm drinking this i think of that scene and his his the way that he describes pinot noir and 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 it's yeah this is like see this is what he he had to have been thinking about josh wine i think wow that's a really good compliment baby I think he had to be, because I, I, this is what, I, yeah, it's, this is great, yeah, yeah. So if you haven't seen Sideways, watch Sideways. Yeah, it's a great movie, I was and, reading the quotes and it, And it's <laughs> funny as hell, and it's, it's this great, awkward, jacked up romance story, and, and, and it's, and it, and it, and it's just, yeah, and it, and if you want to know what it's like to be a down and out, <laughs> drunk, <laughs> depressed writer, well then, that's a movie to watch, definitely. Or just watch us. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to do... We need to describe our books one of these So days. we're going to do cheese. Yeah, yes. one of these days. I don't know. So, and then, before I forget, another movie for California Wine, and it is really a good movie, is Bottle Shock. Yes. That movie is an amazing movie. Oddly enough, it has Chris Pine in it. From Star Trek, and yes, he was the main actor. He did a really good job, and that's another great wine, a California wine movie, is Bottle Shock. So those are two recommendations from us. And what was that one about the guy, the father owned the? Was that the barbecue place? No, there was that other movie, uh, Uncorked. Uncorked. That's another a great, great movie too. Father owns a barbecue place. Third generation expects the son to take it over, and I think but it's I think it takes place be... in Detroit or something. Mm, and yeah, I don't think yeah, so. no, it's like Chicago or Detroit. It's and, and and the wine scene, as in the wine scene, um, is kind of a is kind of an, a very obscure up and coming thing in 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 a, and I think it takes place in Detroit, but I cannot remember. But another, and so it's just about this kid that's like, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to barbecue. Be, I want to be a sommelier. He wants to be a sommelier. And yeah, so, and he, and, and there's this whole thing, they go to France and, and the wines that he's been, that he's been working with this other guy on, they actually win because it's a blind taste test with all these very famous French uh, sommeliers. I think they're kind of getting the movies. I think it, well, I think they're both kind of the same. But anyways, Uncorked is great too. I know, whatever. So anyways, let's try the cheese. I don't know. They We're do back. go to France, but he's learning how to be a sommelier. That's why he goes to France. Yes, you're right. Okay, my bad. The that's one right. about they win yes. the contest, that's Bottle Shop. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Whatever. Too many. Well, well. I don't know, there's know. never enough wine, and there's never enough movies. There's to never wine. enough wine, and there's yeah. And then, well, maybe that's it. We drink too much wine and watch these movies, and I get them confused. But anyway, so, so this I do is like the um, which one is this? This is the um, the barely buzz, and the reason why it's called barely buzz is because it's espresso and lavender, and um, it is really good. I can definitely taste the nutty flavor. Um. Really, the, it goes with the wine the, very well. We're having a bit of a fly problem here, so we're just. I don't know where. It's windy, so I don't yeah, know why so, we have we, bugs. so that's if you see us doing this, we're kind of trying to. Um, that really, really, brings really out. brings out the coffee, and I mean, it makes it pop. Yep. That's that's yeah. That really, really 
It really makes that pop. And I think um, it brings out the coffee, but it kind of mellows it at the same time. You know, because sometimes yes. coffee flavor is like, bam. And it just because this is such a delicate wine and it's such a beautiful wine, I think it kind of like mellows it out a little bit. So that um, the wine, it, it does, it definitely doesn't, the cheese doesn't overpower the wine and the wine doesn't overpower the cheese. I think they marry well together. Yeah. And they have this, this, um, I don't know, you can just, you can taste the passion of the cheese and the passion of the wine and it comes out together. Well, this is very like a, this combination here is a very um, kind of a, a very experimental. I mean, this is like, you know, like not, you know, this is definitely out of, uh, this is just different. The cheeses are completely different. The wine is completely different. Mm -hmm. Everything's kind of completely different. So, so this is the tea. Tea hive. Tea hive. And it's an Earl Grey. Which I love Earl Grey. Yeah, it's a very nice tea. Very downplayed. Um, I like it. I think I can't say that the wine. Oh, and I've been eating from the cheese to the rind versus the other way. So I wanted to taste the cheese first. I can't say. <clears throat> it's very, it may have been wrong to buy these two cheeses and eat them together. Because I think the espresso kind of overpowers the... It's very Captain Picard. <laughs> very kind of... You're always slamming something. So now it's Captain Picard. If I Picard. was Captain Picard, this is what I would eat. I'd have Earl Grey well, he tea. Does drink Earl Grey Earl tea. Grey cheese. He does drink very kind of blah. This is very and, mellow compared to the espresso. So I'm wondering if but that's why I ate cracker in between. I'm wondering if eating these two cheeses together might not have been the 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 smartest thing to do. Um but this it, if you compare the two cheeses the espresso cheese is a lot stronger than the Earl Grey tea. Yes, much more pop. But they're great. They're both equally great. Um, no, because, yes, I love and, both the cheeses, but it's just yeah, I don't think I'm, that eating them both at the same time was probably... Of course, I'm not so sure what other wine you would have the Earl Grey tea with, beca uh, cheese with, because... It's such a... It's so soft and gentle as well. Well, I think maybe Beaujolais. Because Beaujolais is more fruity. I think I could see that. Because yeah. it says fruity wine. Oh. So, um, yeah. Beaujolais. And I, I love, love this cheese place because they tell you what wine or beer to drink with it. That is awesome. It gives you, you know, it helps you. So, the, um, the cheeses yeah. are, you know, yeah, we do a little bit of expenses cheeses. I, online, the cheeses are like $12. A little expensive, but um, if you're wanting to like have a nice party and you want to try something new, yeah. this is definitely it's a it's a U.S. company. It's vegetarian friendly. It is an uh, an elegant cheese, and it, it's fancy for and a it's nice not, party. It, what but was it's not the cheese? What was the cheese prices? Yeah, and see, and this is the thing. It's well, not, online is twelve dollars. Okay, so I think it was. I think it's like eight at the store because it might be a smaller. It's about wedge. eight bucks for a wedge. You kind like of a four ounce wedge. Yeah, four ounce, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Is that <a> technical? <laughs> namaste. 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 <laughs> um, so yeah, so and I so so again again I think um, like I like I said yeah, like, this like doesn't go kind of like like yeah kind of like I think what we say is is that um, there's a you know, there's a time and place for everything. There's a time and place for, for like wines and cheese and, and anything that you select. And again, um, you know, like, like she was just saying, if you have a little gathering of some close friends and stuff and you just want to step it up a notch, um, would, the, would I consider the cheese maybe 
maybe on the on the slightly pricey end. And so is Murray's cheese too. Right. If it, 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 you know, for like just a daily thing, yes. But if it, but you know, that's that's um, you know, there's philosophies like love. See, there you go. Like love, lust, and laugh. Right. And and, and part of part of that philosophy is that um, obviously you can't spoil yourself every day. You know, you know, money doesn't grow on trees because trust me, if it was, I'd be out there picking it right now uh, <laughs> and not doing these videos. But, um, but, um, no, um, j just joking on that. Well, I'd probably be doing that, but you'd be seeing me like, but anyways, so like, it, I think what it is, is it, it's, it's, it's sometimes you just, especially even if it's just yourself, you know, you just want to have this one Sunday. It's, you got, you know, you're in this beautiful setting and you just say, screw it. And you go out and you get these like, you know, couple blocks of eight dollar cheese and you get like a nice bottle of wine and you relax and it's really just about stepping up your 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 a game whether for yourself or for someone you love or someone you're trying to impress or just friends you know not to you know i mean it's just it's yeah i think that's kind yeah, of you know that. even if it's just like once a month or once every couple of months yeah. you gotta spoil yourself yes you know yes. it's it's part of self-care even though most of you know I hate that word, but <laughs> I'm old school, take care of yourself. Why do we need a fancy word for take care of yourself? But self-care, um, you know, take care of yourself. Yes. Put yourself first once in a while. Yeah, you know? I know. And for those of you that have children, sometimes they need to go to the neighbors to play yep. on the play date. Yeah, bye-bye. And Mom and dad need to have some adult time. Adult time. Yep. Or if you're a single parent, get in the get in the bathtub, put some bubbles, mail send the kids out, a, send the kids away the in the hot tub, have some adult time. <laughs> but no, even if you're a single parent, male or Good. female, send the kids to the neighbors for a play date. Get in the bathtub, get a glass of wine, some nice cheese, what? And, I... and have a time for yourself to yeah. enjoy yourself because you know what you work hard you're a great parent you're a great spouse you've got to take care of great yourself. boyfriend great girlfriend great boyfriend girlfriend i don't know whatever yeah and, and well a great and, partner so you know if you're you know take care of yeah. yourself once in a while you gotta send your loved ones to yeah. the to 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 the park yeah. and go play and you gotta take care I of get, yourself i get sent and away you, a lot <laughs> And you gotta have what? your nice bottle of wine. Yes. Have a glass of wine. Watch your guilty pleasure show like Below Deck, oh. which is our guilty pleasure show. Watch Below Deck or Real Housewives oh. of whatever scene. Love Below Deck. And, and then Andy just, Cohen. It, so, oh, and Andy Cohen, he's such a cute guy. He's, oh he's so cute. He is so hot. He is just. Um, anyways. Anyways, um, we digress. But, but so that yourself. leads us to the lust part, right? Well, love so, each other. And right. Take care of yourself. But right. lust is not necessarily sexually oriented. <laughs> right. Well. Lust is lust for life. I'm a guy, so. But yeah, I'm just. Right. No. And, but yeah. you have to lust after life. Yes. You know, you have to. It's not necessarily a sexual term in this case. It's just have a lust for life. Isn't there right a song? Now. Isn't it, is it Lust for Life, Iggy Pop? Lust for Life. Yes, it is. I got a... Is it, isn't it Lust for what Life? What is it? I got a Lust for Life. Dun, 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 I got a Lust for Life. Dun, 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 yeah, don't dun, sing. Dun, 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 dun. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. But I but, think, you know, it, Lust for Life. Just be happy. Enjoy yourselves. Take a day off from work. Oh, I'm not feeling too well. You know? And, and do a... Do a do, do a wellness day and yeah. send your kids off and have your wine and, and laugh Jesus, like when you watch laugh. these videos I like, <laughs> love when you watch these videos oh my we gosh, can't even getting, take ourselves seriously we're anymore. getting sappy okay so, so anyways, back to the wine so yeah so back to the wine here we love this wine I want to try we've only had the Pinot oh, Noir I'm trying to, oh I'm old everybody <laughs> we've um, only had the Pinot Noir um, but I think we're going to try some yes, of the other should. ones now yes. that I know they have others. So, they have a full line, Cabernet Sauvignon was the first, and then they have Rosé, and they have White. So 10 out of 10. Beautiful wine. Beautiful very wine. Sexy, very delicate, delicate, contemplative. I love that. Thoughtful. We love gentle. you, Mr. Carr. Open this up. 
when you watch Sideways because when the scene comes, you're going to be like, wow, this is what Paul Giamatti was thinking in his head. <laughs> um, and he's a great actor. Um, Beehive cheeses are definitely a nice little splurge. Something a little sexy to do for yourself or your friends or your or or, or whoever, um, and yeah, I think that's where we're at. I mean, it's a sexy Wednesday, which that breeze would pick up. I'm kind of like you know, I mean, and then I don't know. The wind on the wind. You know, the wind on the wind. <laughs> you know, like maybe, maybe, <laughs> like I don't know. I don't know. Josh is coming back. Is he gonna serenade us? <laughs> The wind on the wind, the sun on the sun, sparkles on the pier, Josh is my name. Oh my god. The sun on the sun, Pino's gentle in the breeze, Josh is my name. I'm like the grape, gentle growing <laughs> in the wind. Help! Send help, please. Send help. <laughs> All right, guys. Music is not one of my many talents. This has been a midweek boost. We hope we boosted your day. Yes. We're in scene. If you haven't figured so, that out. Love. Lust. Laugh. Laugh. <laughs> Live unscripted. Just. I don't know, whatever. It's day one millionth of the COVID experiment. Enjoy each other. We're going to get through it eventually. We talk over each other. I don't know. Time. What are we? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Not again. Please. Not there again. was a squirrel named John. John was a squirrel's name. <laughs> it's been that kind of week, y'all. <laughs> Love you. Talk soon. Take care. And I don't know. Just namaste, everybody. Namaste. <laughs>